Our children need and deserve an in-person educational experience free of masks. Kids are going to miss lots of school because of quarantine protocols. Tonight, school districts in Johnson County taking different stances on mask mandates as the county already deals with the COVID-19 outbreak at a summer camp. Good evening, I'm Dia Wall. And I'm Kevin Holmes. Thanks for watching KSHB 41 News on air and your favorite streaming device. This all comes as Children's Mercy handles a, quote, high bed count of young COVID-19 patients. In fact, just today, Johnson County reporting 143 new cases of COVID-19. It's on trend with the rest of the Kansas City Metro, which saw more than 600 new cases this Saturday. That's the most recent update we have, and it's a number we haven't seen since January, according to the Mid-America Regional Council. You know, it's numbers prompting one school district to require masks for kids who can't get vaccinated. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez takes us to the Shawnee Mission School District, where leaders made the decision despite protests outside. While a group of several dozen showed up here to voice their opposition against any mask wearing, a public health official told the district that there would be widespread transmission if no one wore masks. We have all been placed in an extremely difficult situation and being left to be the only line of defense. With students in Shawnee Mission School District set to return to the classroom in about two weeks, its school board heard the case for and against mask wearing Monday evening. A majority of the parents in attendance not happy with the idea that their kids would have to mask up. COVID and other serious illnesses are not going away. Do we mask forever? But Johnson County's epidemiologist points to the Delta variant as the game changer. Its qualities to infect more people at a fast pace puts the county in a precarious situation. These are rates we have not seen since we were coming down off of the big peak over winter. Um, our percent positive is something that we have not seen since last fall. After more than an hour and a half of discussion, the board voted six to one to mandate masks for all elementary school students until they're all eligible to be vaccinated. Staff in those schools could opt out of wearing a face covering if they're fully vaccinated. Masking is not required outdoors, but anyone riding a school bus would be required to mask up regardless of vaccination status. There's a lot of districts and they've made a different decision from Shawnee Mission. What's their decision going to look like in, you know, 30, 45 days. If they don't have any problems, then I really hope Shawnee Mission revisits this. And in the event of positive COVID-19 cases here, the district would contact the Johnson County Health Department, whose employees would then do contact tracing. Reporting in Overland Park, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.